the more I realize that I don't know what will happen if you didn't come here. Do you understand what's the meaning of grace? It means the worst was supposed to have happened. So you found grace in Jesus' name. The more, the more when I'm praying with you, I begin to understand that it's only grace that has kept you the way, the way you are now. If not, the worst thing was supposed to have happened. That's wrong. Huh? Huh? Benny. Yeah, Benny. Yes, I want to go. You want to go? Yes. Where do you come from? No, don't ask me. I'm done with this woman. Huh? She's my wife. I'm She's done your wife. with her. Yes. So you're a husband? Yes, I am. Can you work like a husband? <laughs> no. Huh? I'm Benny you now, like. No, no you want to go now? I want to leave her. I'm done with her. You can see the husband say, I want to go. So you want to go? Yes. So you will leave her to marry? What was your work in her? You. What were you doing? You. Huh? Oh. I was blocking her. You were doing using what? Her. You, were, you were using her to do what? For my things. No, for speak me out. to be successful. Speak out. You were using it for what? Uh, for my shots. Uh, huh? Uh, I was using it. To do what? Uh, for me to huh? have power. To have power. You were using it. To do what? In fact, that's the reason why I want to hear because somebody can say, I'm burning. It means this. she's possessed. It's not only affliction, she's possessed. You were using her to do what? For my rituals. For your rituals? Yes. How? No. What kind of rituals? Yes. You were making her to do what? No. Huh? I can't say it. Speak it out. I can't. So I won't stop the fire to burn you. No, burning. Uh, I want to go now. I'm done with her. That's why I took another wife. Mm. You took another wife? Yes. And I'm also using her. <sighs> For rituals. This one, she believes in God. <sighs> so, you, you don't want to tell me what kind of rituals? No, I can't. W why? Oh, it's secret. It's secret? Yes. No. Oh. So, you can hear that. No. You marry a person, you use it for rituals. You... I'm a witch. Yeah? I'm a witch. You're a witch? Yes. You wanted to use her also in witchcraft? Uh, eh? uh, you wanted her also to be a witch? Eh? No. No. It's like your face. She's a prayerful woman. Oh. So if she was not prayerful, woman. if she was not prayerful, mm. you were supposed to do what? Huh? Mm. Can you see that? Sometimes this is our main problem in choosing partners. You find that you are choosing a wife no. or a husband because you have got materials. You choose an occultic. I was talking about it here. You find you choose a occultic. From there, there's a room you can't enter. The day you enter, you found the head doing like this. And you lock it, you tremble. When it comes, say, she tea. You start to pretend all along because he was bringing Kentucky. You were happy for Kentucky, but the day you find out, you just say, Daddy, but deep down here, you can't talk about what you saw. You people, you want to see. You want to see, especially these young people from South Africa. I was in Zambia, I was crying in my spirit. I found young ladies, married old wise people. And I just said, this is for money. Old. How can you, you are this? How old are you coming? Huh? I'm 27. You marry a white old man. What kind of marriage is that? When you are with him, you just say, God, kill him, kill him. Kill him. 
the first thing you'll be saying in your heart here, he must sign with me. It's not true. That's the first thing. If you say, oh God, I'm tired. The day is carried to hospital, you'll be in its gate, going around all shops like this, waiting for the call so that they must call that, that man now is dead. You're a killer. You're also a killer. So live it. In Jesus' name. You are defeated. She's not going to get any man. She's not going anywhere. She's going to stay here. She's not going to get married. I've got two children with her. She's not going anywhere. Bring her to me. Some problems we are just praying for, pray for, but you have created them. I'm sure you understand that. The decision, the decision you have taken. Some of you now, you can't go back from the decision you have taken. Even when it's wrong, you want to prove a point. You know you, are, you were wrong, but because you want to prove it, because of pride, sometimes it's pride. You can't change now. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. You can't change because you are inside. You are inside now. You are inside witchcraft. So if you say, I repent, already you have done this. You just say, it's better I die like that. There's no way I can do. One of our problems is, even when God gives us grace like this, we can't see it because we have been in our own ideas. We want to live life the way we see it. And that's where you find people are caught in witchcraft, caught in occultic. Caught. You are, but the moment you find out, it's your freedom. The Bible says you will know the truth, and the truth will do what? But look at this lady. You will know the truth. The truth will set you free. Herself now, she was just saying, oh God, oh God, oh God. I know many people. After they found the truth, they say, no, me, here. Yeah. I can see all these houses. I can see this man is rich. But for me to live is Christ. For me to die is gain. Amen. Amen. You cannot be robbed by material things. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So this is our problem. Even when you are working, you find that you are employed by someone who's using witchcraft and is giving you more money, are you going to stay there? Very soon you're a witch. Choose your friends. Choose right people around you. If they are wrong, get rid of them. And you live a right life. That is your first deliverance, a decision. Though you will be challenged on that decision, why you took that decision, you'll be tempted. Because what you were eating, you're no longer eating. What you were touching, you're no longer touching. But you can rather say, it's better I die like this. I found that choosing to suffer with the people of God is better, but it's for a little while. There's the glory that is going to appear. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. God bless you. <laughs> Sit down. Let's have time. You are free now. How do you feel? Free in the name of Jesus. Come here, sister, come. How come you marry an occultic? Let's listen to this lady. Maybe we can learn a lot from her. How come you marry an occultic? What happened? You, were you not knowing that this man is an occultic? I met him in 2000 and 2005. I've been staying with him it's more than 12 years. Uh, by that All right, time, listen to this. Where do you come from? I'm staying in a church for 
Where do you come from? Come from. Where, where were you born? Atrichville. Atrichville. Yes. Yeah, especially people of Atrichville. You see, Atrichville, Tembisa, Mami Lodi, so way to all these locations, we have got problem. We people here, you people, you are attracted by cars. I didn't know. I eh? didn't know. He lied. When he, li he yes, he when he came to, to pay Lobola, he said he from Deben. He hide his identity. Then I found out after my first child, he came with his family with a wrong surname, and his accent just was good. So he lied. My child, my firstborn, he's, he was. He is uh, 2007. Sister, listen to this. This man never lied to you. You are the one who lied to him. How can a person come and say, I'm coming to marry? A person for the first time, you must, you must date him. A person cannot just come and say, I'm coming to marry. Is it not true? Eh? You will date the person. How can you go to a conclusion part of saying now I want to marry the person. It's impossible. You have to find something. This lady is lying to me. You are the one who's lying to me now. There's no way that you didn't know that this person is lying to you. But you were robbed somewhere. Yes, um, I was robbed somewhere. Okay, now speak the truth. What happened? I'm sure yourself now, you go freedom by speaking here. You are setting away yourself so that you get a right man. Amen. And also you are teaching others here. Many people here, I mean, you just buy them two chips. <laughs> Streetwise two. <laughs> they begin to say, where do you come from, brother? Hey, you have blessed me a lot. The brother say, tomorrow I'll be here. I'll buy you two strip, strip wise two. When you are there, when you are sitting, you remember the strip wise two you were eating. Now, it calls you now. When you are going there, just say strip wise two. Strip. <laughs> and this thing, this thing will put you in the street. Strip wise, you become so street wise there. <laughs> now you're on the. <laughs> Arrange. From there, you are. You are robbed by food. You don't know what is following. Many people here, they are here, robbed by food. Robbed by money they saw. Robbed by the things they saw. Some people, they just even drive the, the car of their brother. They come and say, sorry, uh, the way you are. Uh, do you know this shop? This one. When you are still looking at that, he's reading this. He doesn't even know the shop, but he's also reading you. Same time when he's showing you. He says, oh, this shop is called shoplifting. Can you see shoplifting? Yes, I, I'm the manager. I'm the owner of the shop. Yourself, because you want the shop, you agree. So this is the main problem. This lady can still marry again. This lady, she has a good heart, but robbed. Amen. There's no way that brother, when he proposes, he won't rob you. You're not true. Eh? When he comes to you, you just say, you are so beautiful, I've never seen you. You are like a train. But you don't think about what train looks like. Because the person is pressing you, saying you are like a train, even yourself. Now you start to walk like a train now. You walk like a train. <laughs> ah! You don't question what is train. Okay, let's hear, sister. Amen. What happened? You marry a cultic man. I'm sorry, I don't want to decide. I just want you to confess so that all these things you are disconnected when you are saying it. God loves you. Amen, Mfundis. I <clears throat> fortunately, Mfundis, God has shown me visions. When I pray, it's something that it will happen tomorrow. So my husband was Istangoma. So I accepted him no, no, the no, way no, no. he is. Listen to this. Tell me what happened from the beginning until you married this occultic person, please. I just think it's many people here. There are many people. How many of you want to marry here? Lift up your hand. Can you see that they will learn from you? And even yourself, you set yourself free. 
what was happening in my life. Yes, That's how, why. how it start for you to find yourself merry and occultic. That's why I say he lied to you. Or <clears throat> you lied to him. Who lied? No, he was providing me like a husband that will do. He was giving me money. You hear giving now? me food. Food. Everything. He was doing everything as a husband. But Be I before he marry you. Yes. He, he will take you out. Yes. You go and eat somewhere. Yes. You eat, you eat, you eat. Mm -hmm. From there, you are no longer having brain. You even eat your brain. That's what I'm talking about. It's what is happening. Somebody just got sorry, sister. Can I take your number? Yes. I will find you in main lane. I've been surprised there are many people who are going to main lane. They don't know what they are going to do. You are going to eat. After eating, you want to go back to main lane. Go back to main lane. What, what are you doing in main lane if you don't have money? Why don't you eat at home? Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't know that he was that name that you are using now until I left 2014. I left him on 2014 only to find out um, he was using something to get money. I was told in the dreams. Can you explain what is that? I don't know. And I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What so, makes you to say you don't want to be with him again? He decided to take a second wife. In your presence? Yes. When you that is why I left him 2014. So, then I left, I went home. But all along you were tolerating. Yes. He was providing. Yes. Doing everything. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Now you found the secret of a weak woman is food. Food. <laughs> if you want to see that a woman is weak, provide food. Chakalaka, all those kind of things. <laughs> the moment you provide, she's finished. There's no reality. My sister, I am pray that that demon that was speaking here, do you know there was a demon was speaking? I don't know. Yeah, it was the one that was saying you were married by occultic. It's not me. Mm -hmm. It was a demon saying you were married. I didn't even know you. Like uh, myself, I'm, I'm looking at you for the first time. Amen, Fundis. So did you ever speak with me before? No, Fundis. Do you know the address of where I'm staying? No, Fundis. Do you know the one who gave birth to me? No, Fundis. Do you know, do, do you know my wife? Yes. Oh, you will. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to say that most of the time, you understand, we end up being caught by something we don't know because of what we are seeing. I'm praying for this lady, and you people join me in prayer so that God will make an example by blessing her with a right husband. Yeah. Because if, listen, for her to take a decision to say, ah, I found this man is not the right man. But look here, if this man could not bring the second wife because there was chakalaka, acha, and all those things, she would stay there. But the moment when he bring the wife, the second wife, she began to say, I don't want to share my husband with anyone. I don't believe in this. I'm a Christian. I'm living. Is it? That's, that's what you did. Amen. So, do you want to go back? No. Do you, want, you don't even think about him? No. What kind of man do you want to marry? Uh, Christian. A Christian. You speak Zulu? Yeah. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. So now this lady has learned a lesson. All you ladies here, take this lady. This is a great lesson. When, listen, after you are disappointed, you begin to say, everyone will fear God. But before disappointment, you say, no, I want a tall guy. He must have a big shoulder to carry me. And he must wear nine or 20. But this is a lesson 
that we must take. I need a person who fear God. I need a wife who fear God. I need a husband. I'm sure you're hearing me now. Amen. Sister, it will happen to you. God will give you a right husband. Amen. So, what could be done to an abaco, Sissy? Fundis. Even when I say, Fundis, I'm going to call it Kumkulu, Ramuzo. Yes, my parents, my father is a priest. Mm. And he Yes, Ufundis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My children, they're staying with me at home. So you, you went back home? Yes. Where, where is your home? At Richville. At Richville? Yes. Okay, God bless you. It will happen. Amen. It will really... Take courage, it will happen. And when I'm speaking with you, I'm speaking with many here. Whether you've got two children, three children, four children, five children, Nothing is impossible to your God. Yeah. You can still marry. It's not too late. God bless you. God bless you, sister. Hey. Nempel. <laughs>